All right, going to take a minute or two here to answer an email that I got from a friend of the ministry. Um, it says here, uh, in the garden before the fall, did Eve and Adam have equal dominion or authority? I'm being told this by some sisters in Christ. I remember a teaching you did on how Eve left her head covering, and that is when the serpent went after Eve. People are saying that Adam at this time was not the head covering of Eve. Some say that it was random who the serpent chose. Um, I also teach that Adam was made in the image of God. Jesus was the second Adam, and Jesus is a man. Yet both men and women are made in the likeness of God, body, soul, spirit. That's correct. A lot of the world try to say that God is unisex. God is a unisex by saying that both male and female were created in the image of God. Am I wrong in this view or, and stand? Or wording is it like that? Image equals body, soul, and, and spirit too along with likeness. I'm just trying not to give credence to the lost people who say God is a unisex or a woman too. Okay? Um, so how do you answer that? Uh, was there equality between Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden? And then they fell and then he's going to rule over Eve and whatever else. Um, no. They were not equal. Okay? Um, uh, let me see where the thing is here. Okay, and here's how they could get this, okay, because uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 16, says here, Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy, con in, and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And they could say, well, see, right there, uh, he doesn't rule over Eve until after the fall. Okay, um, but there's a problem with that. Uh, let's see where the verse is here. Chapter 2, verse 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make an help meet for him. Okay? Uh, a help meet is not on equal ground. All right? Um, if I own a company and I say I want an employee and I hire an employee to help me with my job or with my business, um, that employee is not on my level. I am the employer, they are the employee. The man is there in the Garden of Eden, and the wife is there to be a helpmate for him. Okay? You say, well, that's demeaning. I never understood why it's demeaning, why some women will say try to say that's demeaning somehow or whatever else. Um, that's not there. Uh, you're different. Okay, God is a God of, of diversity. All right? He could have just simply said, there's one type of tree I'm going to create, and that's it. There's one type of animal. There's one type of this. Or there's one. God loves variety. All right. He created women to be different mentally, physically, spiritually in many ways. Women have a different level of spirituality that a man doesn't have. Okay. And you say, well, a man should try to attain to that level of spiritual. No, they're different. You keep them separate. They're different. Okay. So when God says, it's not good that the man should be alone. I'll make a helpmeet for him. What he's saying there is, I created man a certain way. And man is very strong, very forceful. And why? Because he has to work. He's designed to work physically with his hands and labor with his hands. Um, the wife isn't designed for the hard physical labor of a man. There are certain jobs, I don't care how feministic a woman is, she can't do it. She isn't going to be physically be able to do some of the jobs that a man can do, right? And why would you want to? Again, why? There's a satanic hatred for God's order there. And there are some things that are so delicate and dainty and whatever else that it's best for the husband to say, he's trying to get this thing working out, and he just says, honey, could you please do this for me? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know? There's nothing wrong with that. There's not a problem there, all right? A woman was designed, Eve was designed to be a helpmate to Adam, all right? Uh, I love my son, and I'm very sensitive with my son and things, and I hug him, and I kiss him on the head and whatever else. I love him dearly. But uh, when he gets hurt, he doesn't come to me. He goes to mom. Why? Because she's supposed to be the one there that guides the house and brings up the children. She has a level of sensitivity that I can't have. All right. 
Um, and of course, you know, some say that it was random whom the, ser the serpent chose. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, the devil is going to go after the weaker vessel. You'll see that throughout the Bible. He'll go after the wife. So to say it was random who the devil, you know, the serpent chose and, and things, uh, no, that isn't true at all. Um, both men and women are made in the likeness of God, body, soul, spirit. A lot of, of the world try to say that God is a unisex by saying that both male and female were created in the image of God. Uh, the Bible does not say that women were created in the image of God. All right, I'm going to show you something here. Um, uh, I did not write any notes down for this, so just give me a minute here. I'd say what verse I'm looking for, but you can't really comment that I can hear you here, so... Um, talks about and God blessed them maybe it's over in verse or chapter 4 um, cannot think of where the verse is right now I'm just trying to scan it here but uh, it says about the Lord blessed them and called their name Adam God didn't recognize Eve's name Okay. Um, the Bible does not say that Eve was created in the image of God. Uh, body, soul, and spirit, yeah, the, a woman has a body, soul, and spirit just like a man does. But God created them specifically to be different. So uh, God's not unisex or, or whatever else. All right, found it. Sorry about that. Chapter 5. Just skimming through here. This is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that God created man in the likeness of God made he him. Doesn't say them. Look at verse 2. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. So God called him Adam. Both of them. He didn't recognize Eve's name. So again, why? Why is this such a problem? And again, you get a woman and a man that marry what does the woman do? She takes the man's name. Or at least she should, because you know, <laughs> if she, oh, I don't want your you know, last name and whatever else, well, that's kind of a feministic thing that some modern women like to do. But, uh, so there you go. Uh, just as a brief, you know, answer there to the, the thing. It's, you know, it doesn't really take a, a big detailed study on the whole thing. Uh, no, they weren't equal in the garden before the fall. That's not true. Um, God created her as a helpmate for Adam. Okay, it's not good that the man should be alone. See, um, that's there. And you'll understand that once you get married. Secondly, God's not some kind of a unisex, uh, he doesn't, he's sexless or something like that. That That is ridiculous. That's nonsense. All right, God is very obviously male. Um, there's nowhere in Scripture where the, the Lord is ever spoken of as a female or whatever else, or genderless or something like that. Uh, that is a satanic teaching. So, uh, that's going to be it. Hopefully I answered the question. See you in the next video.